don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ian. And I'm Mike. Today we're on week four of our five week art journal pro I forgot what I was doing then. Art journal project. <laughs> the penultimate week. It is. We've done spring, we've done summer, we've done autumn, and today it's the turn of winter. Winter is coming. Winter is not. Hope not. <laughs> a bit of summer would be nice. <laughs> Let's switch to the overhead camera and we'll look through the resources for this set. <laughs> so Mr. Bent has just decided to nudge me with his nails. Hello, oh, bless darling. him. He wants in on the action. It does. Okay, so this is these are the resources for the winter uh, section of the journal. You're doing jingling, aren't you? Yes. But almost like reindeer and the bells of and Santa's sleigh. <laughs> But perhaps not. <laughs> <laughs> Almost, but not quite. Okay, so these are the resources. We've got, again, again it's a 21-page PDF, 20 pages, and one of the back. A common back. A common back. So, let's have a quick flick through. We've got the pages, the uh, panels to go on the pages as before. Mm -hmm. Gone back to some larger tags for a change. We've been doing the roll fold three ways, so we've oh, gone back the, to the yeah, larger ones. The triple fold ones, yeah. yeah. So we've got the lovely... Snow foxes oh, and beautiful. the winter. So I just noticed there's a polar bear there. And, and polar bear, there's yeah. also a rabbit. I've only just noticed. <laughs> Lots of little wildlife bits and pieces. Oh, it's lovely. In. Yeah, we've got elks or what are those? They elks or the deer or the probably a reindeer. Yeah, a reindeer or a moose. Some lovely florals there. It's a moose. Moose about this hoose. Some lovely florals. The doggy's back again. He's been nice because he's been through what, nearly all the all the seasons so far. <laughs> That Welsh corgi again. Yes. But the details lovely on these. I mean, look at the little candy canes. They're all watercolour. Mm. I think they're in. Look at those three. They're lovely. Huey, Dewey, and Louie. <laughs> I mean, these are these are beautiful. I could use these for, for lots of different projects. You can yeah. pull them up and make them do uh, some uh, art journal pages. Yeah. With them I, I love the ones. I think actually my favourite ones out of all of the pages are those ones with the, um, the just the foliage sprigs on them. The no flowers. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? So just the leaves and, and the, the branches. Yeah. Is, is mistletoe in the background of that one? Look, I think. Yes, it is. Mistletoe and pine leaves yeah. or branches. Some birdies. I just think they're so pretty, and of course the style follows through. From the previous weeks. Yeah. So as we said before, you can do a one journal with this on its own. Absolutely. Well, I love the little. There's definitely enough pages. Oh, oh he's yes. back again. Hello, darling. I love the dark blue and the, like the icy, icy blue and the dark blue. Yeah. And these are nice. You could use these on on anything really, project-wise, back endy and Christmassy. Yeah, absolutely. I have to say yeah. the word back endy was one my mum used to use when it was cold. You say oh, it's a bit back endy. <laughs> I don't actually think it means anything at all. But it did to me, Mum, bless her. Yeah. So again, if you were a scrapbooky person, you could use these to create little embellishments for a scrapbook page for um you know for holiday season or Christmas season. If you've been trekking in the wilderness. Oh that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Snow foxes again. So we've got ordinary foxes, snow foxes, there's rabbits, there's polar bears, there's um, possibly reindeer, elks or moose. Dogs we've not, got. Not really sure. Yeah, dogs are in there. Birdies. Okay, this is the colour I've picked for the winter, which is the it's nice lovely ice blue. Dark ice blue, yeah. And that's got little sprigs of foliage and mistletoe and etc. on it. It's got again, you've got the this channel belongs to in the property of. Handmade by has got the little snow foxes on. And then they're your inside pages that you would put together to cover your inside cover. So there's 21 pages, including the overprint page. So shall we just run through again the same thing what you get in this set like yeah. did before? So in this set you get 20 of the page inserts. Right, so 10 lined, 10 unlined. Yep. Yeah. And then you've got your journaling cards, which are these ones here. Got so ten of those. Yeah. And then your little tag shapes. We flip through. So these down. are the tag shapes that you can either stick together to make a double-sided tag, or you could leave it as a foldable tag so you can write on the inside yep. as well. That's it. So you get five of those. 
There are 12 of the roundel shapes with a decoration to coordinate. Yeah. You've got six of the corners. Yeah. So those are the left and right. And then you've got three of the tall journaling cards, which are these little ones. Yeah, here. there's two smaller ones and a very large one. Almost like a bookmark. Almost like a bookmark, yeah. yeah. And then for the square pockets, there's eight of those as well. That's those. So it's 71 items in total. Yeah, total of 71 items. So if this was cut out into an ephemera pack, there'd be quite a bit. There'd be a heck of a lot. Yeah, almost double what you'd normally get in one of our cut out ephemera packs. Yes, it is. Because there's usually around 30, 30 30 items yeah, there in that. So there's, like I said, more than double what you'd normally get. Right, so I'll, oh, I'll get myself ready. Yeah, I don't have any of the cutting out. I'll I don't mind cutting, but the straight lines. And we've got punches for these. Well, I'll tell you what. You cut those out, yeah. and I'll do the really hard work by making you a cup of tea and playing with puppy. I think that's a deal. I think he's got the best part of the deal, so I'll be back in two minutes. And we're all done. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Ta -da. <coughs> so, it's like waving a magic wand over it. It is, isn't it? Yeah. So, I've cut them all out. I've not cut those out because obviously I'm not using those because the one I'm using is my spring cover. Yes. So, but all the bits are there for you to do your winter outer, <laughs> as it were. Okay. So, it's looking quite thick. It's not as thick as it was last weekend because, do you want to just explain? I've taken all the ephemera out. Yeah, so we've taken the tags and stuff out, so it's just the pockets and the pages and that the, are left in. And there's only spring pages in there at the moment. Yeah. I think I've just missed a pocket out, missed a, an item. We just flicked through, I thought I, saw, I just saw a little card. Must be thinking, must be imagining things. Oh, it's there! <laughs> yeah! Right! So, yes, yeah, so it's looking rather lovely, rather lush, as the saying goes. So, we're ready to start signature number four. We are. But, I have to give all these to you, Mike. I've divided them up into un unlined. Hey, you're a bit organised. Unlined. Week. Pockets are all taped. There are lefts and rights, though, bear in mind. Yes. The circular lils, which I've punched out with a two-inch punch. Circular lils. Circular lils. You can have some Helmers Extreme for the circles. Other glues are available. <laughs> I've also taped up all the pockets. Mm -hmm. You can use glue. I always so, tape because it's easier. Here in the UK, we call that red liner tape. Elsewhere, it's known as tape. construction tape. Yes. It is. Three little, three little uh, cards. As opposed to three little birds. Or three little pigs. Mm, 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 mm. They're the little uh, journaling cards. Lovely. And also the tags. I would have liked to have used a green, but I can't find any, so I've used brown. Have you looked in my no. stash? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. I didn't want to disturb. So I've cut all those out as well. They're the ones that are like little secret journaling. Yeah. As Mike says earlier, you can glue them together or just have them like that. You can separate. Yeah. Okay. So. We'll start with the pages of, as normal, please. The panels. Okay, you, you tell look. me whether you want lined or unlined. I'll have a lined, please, Mike. Thank you. Will you be peeling the backs off the other? Well, I've not peeled the backs off these. Pages. Another lined, please. Do you want me to start? Yes, them? please, if you would. If I can. Yeah. There we are. Some time. One. So that's another lined. Two, thank you. Planes, please. One from the top. Uh, uh, consonants, consonants. There's a, there's a program called Countdown in the in the UK that's um, like a quiz show type thing. Mm. Thank you very much. Where people pick letters at random from a pile and then they have to try and make the longest word. A bit like Scrabble, really. Yeah. But you get some naughty words come out sometimes, sometimes you do, yes. and then you have to stop recording. Could I have another plane, please? That was better. I did have. Um... Thank you. And then she can do me a, a land again, please. I'm just taking these from the top of the deck. I'm not going through or shuffling, so these are going to come out as they are. That's fine. No problem with that. There you go. I'm just going to put that in there so I can find the edge of it each time. <laughs> Good idea. Because it's sometimes you can't find where you're going. 
Okay, another, another right in place. So once you've got them cut out, actually sticking everything in is, is pretty quick, isn't it? Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm going to put one there, and then I'm going to go to the middle and work backwards. Want to do it a different way today? Da, da, da. That's a bit. So what would you like next? A bit, a bit cockeyed, isn't it? It's fine. Skew. Right. Okay. It's a handmade item. We've got we'll that. have um, two plain ones, please. Two plain. And yeah, we'll do a, we'll do a centre spread this time. It's going to be a bit different. And the old's not cutting it today, I don't think. Just put that under there, there so you go. see it. Thank you. That's my top secret mission inspiration tub. Do it. For the mid month minis. That's full of. We've got alphabet coins in it, hasn't it? Yes, it has. So we pull one out at random. But not today. No. There you go. Okay, and then lined please. This is the one with it you call Moose and the Bunny Rabbit. It's a moose, elk, reindeer, I don't know, it could be either, <laughs> either or. Another lined please. So we've got deer and the Bunny Rabbit. Oh, yeah. Trying to do them slightly different to what we've done before. Why not? I'm going to miss a page. And put it there. Thank you very much. There is enough, as we said many, many times, is to do a couple of journals. I think with one set of ephemera you could actually do a whole journal with one printout, couldn't you? Yes, probably could. They're leaving you plenty of. Uh, well, I suppose it depends how many signatures you're putting in and how many. Well, yes, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. That's, that's that. Miss, miss that, miss that, miss that. And we'll have. How many leaves you've got in your signature? Yes. Why are they called leaves? Do we have any idea? No idea. Because most of the publishing terms come from the monks. Well, I have heard of a signature being also called a chorus. Oh, right. So, go oh. figure. One on there, please. Yeah, what? Line Don't, mind. Don't mind. Don't mind. Don't mind. Do an unlined one then. <coughs> I don't mind at all. Yeah, particularly, I think, um, when it's like monks or that of, of being bookbinding. Plain, please. Um, sometimes I think they use, you know, that kind of reference. But yeah, I've heard signatures being called choruses before. So. Oh, really? Mm. Thank you. Plain again, please. I'm just trying to make it a bit, a bit more random mm. this time. Mix it up a little. Yes. Um, you can pass me whatever you want though, I don't mind. Okay, I shall do you a lined one. That's perfect. Yep. So that's got a little presses on it and some floral. Let's do the unlined ice skates next. I have distressed all the edges of these, but you don't have to. You've pre-distressed them all. Yeah. All right, because normally you show doing the last one. I think I think I think everybody knows. Have to distress, have to distress these, these days. These days yeah. yeah. Let's try. So that's your unlined skaters. Have the lined next, please. Yeah, we'll do the little, the little bear and the little rabbit. Thanking you. The Arctic bear. And then we'll do. There we are. Fireplace. I just think they're so pretty. They are. Lovely. Fireplace. That bottom there, I think, for a change. Cool. So you've got two left. Cool. So we've got the rocking horse, and then we've got another. Another um, foliage frame. Let's have a look, see what we've got. We'll That's there. the rocking horse. Thank you. So this is going to be the foliage frame. For foliage, for frame. Okay, there you go. Let's have a look. And then we're ready to put pockets in, I think. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We'll put it there, I think. 
<laughs> a massive pile of, of backings. Oh. Let's get rid of these. Let's put them behind you. Just give them to me and I'll, I'll run across to the west wing and then put them in the there you are, in the trash. In the in the rubbish. There we go. I'd knock my chair over. Fortunately, fortunately the dog wasn't sat there. No, Mr. Bentley's not not feeling very well today, is he? No, he's a bit off colour, bless him. I think when we were playing Teddy earlier, I think he maybe twisted himself as it as he was jumping oh. on and off the bed really quickly. Okay, so we'll have corners first, please. Okay, left or right? Left, please. Okay. So, here we go. These, the backs of these red liner tapes all got everywhere. I even found one in the bed the other day. We once went to the States and we found some on the carpet in Miami. <laughs> it followed us in yeah, the suitcase. In the suitcase. Same with the little foam pads. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. They, they just got everywhere. The little pop dots. The backings of those, the foam 3D pads, yeah, they they followed us, didn't they? Doggies! Thank you. And then a left, please. I've just left that in there so I can find where I am. So we're having a birdie. Okay. Birdie left. Go a bit more forward, thank you. And let's have a look. I don't know what the difference is between a moose and an elk. I suppose... It's spelled differently, isn't it? Well, yes. Yes, dear. I suppose it's probably a size thing. Yeah, I'm sure somebody, somebody will tell us, no doubt. What are we doing next, left or right? We'll do a left, please, Mike. OK. So we've got... We've got our little gaggle of beauties. And then your final corner pocket is another birdie. And it's a right, is it? It is a right. I think there. Yep. Thank you. OK. There we are. So even with, even with just those in, we're getting quite thick, aren't we? We are. Cool. Okay, we'll do long pocket, uh, the uh, square, pockets. square pockets, that's the word I was looking for, Mike, thank you. They're not really square, are they? But... Rectangular. Rectangular pockets with little finger pulls on them. I've just used a one and a half inch punch to do those. Oh, yeah. One and a half? Yeah. Which is a 38 mil one, isn't it? I don't know, just, inch a, just, half, yeah. just this inch and a half on it. I'm not good with the, the measurements. If it fits, no. I use it. It's like if I go to the shop and I'm buying the place where I got all my screws and stuff, and I mm. take one with me. What I mentioned last week about um, somebody leaving a comment about wasn't really poking fun at people still using Imperial because a lot of the world still does. Mm. But it was just interesting when I was doing a little bit of research as to just how many countries do still use Imperial and how many have actually moved over to the metric. Thank you. Um, in America, there are some of the armed forces which have moved over to metric. Yeah. But what I don't understand about the US is we have metric measurement, we have inch measurements, but kilometres. They don't have miles. Is it, is it miles? Well, I don't know. I can't remember. We don't drive in the States. No, we don't. Also. We've been watching a series called Reacher on um, Amazon Prime. Mm. Oh, you're putting doggies together? Oh, sorry, no. I'll, My fault. It's all right. Me bad. I'll put it somewhere else, this one. Okay. Um, it's um, obviously based on the, the Lee Child book. Jack Reacher. Jack Reacher. And this is the first one, uh, or the first season, uh, which is based on... The Killing Room? The Killing Floor, I think Killing Floor, is, is it? Um, I've never read any of the Lee Child Jack Reacher books. Mum has read and owns every single one. Um, there's a huge... Well, uh, one entire bookshelf. Full of Jack Reacher. It's <laughs> full of... Uh, Jack Reacher books. Thank you. Um, she's read every single one. Um, they've never really appealed to me. But the series is brilliant. Well, actually, um, really, really, so far, I've really enjoyed the series. It's been... It gets me cross because the baddies are naughty. <laughs> yeah. But the, the guy that we've got to play, Jack Reacher, obviously, you know, Tom Cruise played him in the movies, but 
It's bit, too short. Jack Reacher is supposed to be six foot odd. And built like a big dodo. Yeah, a brick outhouse. house. And he is. Uh, and, and the guy that got to play him, Alan Richardson, um, who's also been in, was in Titans, you know, the DC's Titans series, played Hawkman. Uh huh. Um, it's just perfect. But it's his demeanour, it's, it's his humour. He's perfect, he is. Is, ladies and gentlemen, he is actually perfect. Yeah, the delivery is just um, fantastic for his humour. It's. I think, I think I may have to marry him. <laughs> and then we've got, I've got a, just one more, is that, is that a, an oblong pocket mic? It is, this one's the, the mouse, the, oh, mouse, I'll, the, I'll put, um, the reindeer it's and a very the, big mouse. the rabbit. Thank you very much. I think it's just, I've, I said earlier, I only just, I've only just spotted the little rabbit there. But the more you look into them, the more you'll see. Yeah. Yes, so I'm not usually into, like I said, that kind of thriller kind of book, but I thoroughly enjoyed this thing. Very good. The baddie is a baddie. But the baddie we thought were the baddie is sort of being killed, so, yes, so we'll, we'll, give it a, we'll give it away. Oh, but we've well, not uh, finished it yet, we've still got two more episodes well, yeah, to go. That's for tonight's TV. Okay, so that's with all the pockets in, etc. Yes, okay. we've, we've rationed to two episodes per night, haven't we? Yeah, because we're inclined to binge watch. <laughs> we watched Only Murders in the Building, and that was supposed to be binge. Well, it was supposed to be. Was one that Amazon night. or was that Netflix? That was Disney. Is it Disney? It's Is Disney. it Stars? Stars. Yeah. So Only Murders in the yeah. Building. That was good with um, Steve Martin and Martin Short, and was it Selena Gomez? Selena Gomez, yeah. Who yeah. has a foul mouth on her? <laughs> She's easily shocked by language. Please don't watch that. She has a, <laughs> she has a, she has a naughty mouth. <laughs> it's um. It, that's a very good. That's a very good. And one, it has it? a. A heck of a um, heck of a twist in it. Yes. I'm just show you the insides. Of course, there the printed on the backs, and you've also got the little flowers. Whatever's on the front is on the back. Mm. So yes, yeah, so I can heartily recommend Only Murders in the Building. Can I have a tag, please? You can. Candy canes. Thank you. <laughs> yes, it's a very, very, very good series. I mean, you, you, you watch TV for a while and it's full of dross. And well, you think, yeah. why am I watching this? Well, I suppose when you've got new seasons starting and... Yeah, which is what we want, isn't yeah. it? Can I have a tag, please, mate? Tag. Here we go. Thank That's you. Foliage. Thank you. So you mix and match beautifully, these. I do. That. I think my, te my tails might be a little bit longer today on my tags. because It I, doesn't matter. No, I don't suppose it does. One of those, please? Yes. Thank so you. One of your bookmark tags. And they're sort of dinky. It's a lovely app. You could theoretically pop a hole in there and put some ribbon in there. Oh, well, yeah, of course you to. could, yeah. Birdies. Yes. I think I'll have another, another um, tag, please. You can have another one of those. Thank you. And I'll have... Actually, no, I'll have a notes to go in there. One of those because I think we should have plenty, plenty to go with. I'll have another doggy to go in there. So you've got one of the small, tall, thin ones. You've got two tags left and three of the journaling cards. Your tag. favourite journaling card of all time here. Bunnies. I have a thing about rabbits since, we're, well, we had our rabbit, as you, whether you, you remember. People remember that far back. Yeah. Benjamin. Mm. Thank you. And you can't put the foxes and the rabbits together. Oh no, dangerous. Put the foxes and the bird together. Yeah, the birdie can fly away. Have we got something in nearly every one? We have, so we'll just... So we'll have to double up again then. Oh, Docky have on it there. there yeah, we so we'll do... Well, I'll put a card in there. Yeah. Two little Christmas trees, and then the bunnies can go. The bunnies can go in there. Okay. With the doggies. Okay, so we've then just got to put on the little roundel. I mean, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! This is exciting. Scrap paper. Oh, yeah. There we are, Mike. Lovely. Okay, we've got some scrap paper. So Thanking you. I'll do that for your roundels and then you can just go around. The roundels are also printed on the back. She could actually write on them, just put some little tags or paper clips. Yeah. And paper clip them to the tops with little messages on. Or... Good. 
Thank you. Okay. I'm just going to do these as they come. Yeah, it was. They're in no particular order. There we are. Thanking you. Little group activity, this, isn't it? It is, isn't it? I mean, if you've got if you've got children, they'd love to make something like this, wouldn't they? Yeah, absolutely, or grandchildren. Or grandchildren, yeah, or great grandchildren if you're lucky enough. Don't get your fur babies to help you. You get the paws in. You get the paws in all the glue. There we are. As I said before, the colours all matched right the way through. It's got that same watercolour feel, which I was very keen to uh, to keep. Flick through to show all the different pages. There we go. Thank you, Mike. I'm concentrating. That's why I've gone quiet. Yes. It's got his tongue out. It's thinking. <laughs> it's thinking, aren't you, Mike? The capital F. Yes. There we go. So this glue is very good, isn't it? It is. Is it like Pritt stick that we have in the UK? Well, I bought this in the UK. Oh, no. I bought really? this from the range. Not the range, I'm home bargains. Home bargains. No, but do we? Is, is it like a Pritt stick? It, it is, but I always find it, it's, it sticks better. Sometimes Pritt stick can dry out and your bits can fall off. We don't want that happening, boys. Um, do but we? the arm is, it doesn't seem to work, it doesn't seem to happen. Right. So, all the bits are in there. Let's just find the start of the. The signature and that has now bulked out really really nicely so I'm getting extra bulk because we've put the double-sided polymer on the yeah, back yeah. For, for sticking the pages but if you use a glue or, or whatever tape it's not going to bulk up so we'll start there plus so, there's lots and lots of ephemera in it oh gosh yes <laughs> so we have I'll just flick through so you can see the theme that runs through the theme and the colors yeah Lovely. I like the, the kind of grey, silvery greens. Yeah, I do. Eucaly eucalyptus. Yeah. That's them, isn't it? Well, it's sage eucalyptus -y. pine. See, any pine spaces, green. photographs, yeah. writing. You could put some little sticks and more um, images on there, print some more cards. Mm. Like I said, they'd make, they'd make really lovely, like a, a year long like memory journal. Yes. So that you could record an entire year going through the different seasons but don't forget as well you are you can sell whatever you make mm. so if you want to raise funds for your craft stash or for, for an organization a charity church etc you can uh, make, sell whatever you make we've got a problem with that at all i think lady asked last week yeah could she sell the stuff she's made of course she can as long as you don't sell on the the digital sheets yeah, it can't sell, as long as you don't sell the digital files as they are or print them out and sell them as they are as long as you make them up into something. That's really nice. I'm pleased with that. Put something on there. Mm. Photographs. It would be nice. You could make it as like an address book and birthday book. Yeah. Where the, where the, throughout the year. Throughout the year. Yeah. So that is like winter babies. Where we are at the moment. <laughs> yeah, winter babies, yeah. So next week. We're going to do the secret garden, and you will absolutely. If you've ref if you're fond of the book, the secret garden. Who wrote the secret garden? No idea. I'm got a clue. Do you want me to do a quick? Yes. A quick ask the guys. So that's our last last signature next week, signature number five. I think you are going to adore it. It is absolutely beautiful. It features ruins and flowers and all sorts of beautiful, beautiful imagery. But of course, in the same style as all the other watercolors we've done. So spring, summer, autumn, and winter is done. Right. Well, apparently there's there's more than one book called the Secret oh, Garden. Oh, is there? But the original one, written in 1911, yes, is from Francis Hodgson Burnett. Oh, fair enough. But apparently there's um, there's another one. It's probably about gardening, to be honest. It will be. <coughs> so next week is the Secret Garden, and then we've come into a look at that, Mike. Look at that. Yeah. Like we said, it's weighty. 
It's very weighty. Very, very weighty. So that's it from us for this week then. So if you enjoyed that, please remember to give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. And obviously there will be clickable links below this video to Ian's Digi Download, but also to the journal kit. Because they're I've back got, in stock. I've got them back in stock again. I've got dust on this. I'm going to sack the housekeeper. <laughs> so that's, it. that's all for now. See you all again very, very soon. Bye for now. Bye. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. Thank you.